The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Illinois, and we're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is Robin with Learn About Law. In this video, we'll discuss parenting coordinators, and I'll answer the questions, what is a parenting coordinator? What are the responsibilities of a parenting coordinator? What issues can a parenting coordinator help with? Who can benefit from a parenting coordinator? How can I get a parenting coordinator? Who pays for a parenting coordinator? What should I expect with a parenting coordinator? What type of training does a parenting coordinator have? What are the benefits of a parenting coordinator? What is a parenting coordinator? A parenting coordinator is a trained individual who assists parents in making parenting decisions for the child's best interest in situations where the parents cannot get along. It is sometimes difficult for parents to separate the issue of past hurt with an ex-partner from the underlying legitimate parenting issue. A parenting coordinator is a neutral third party. Therefore, if a suggestion comes from an unbiased source without the emotional charge between the two parents, agreements can be more easily reached. The parenting coordinator ultimately helps the parents in reaching a solution to their parenting conflict. Parenting coordinates can also help with parenting times and parenting plans. Due to a parent's variable work schedule, some parents have vague provisions as to days or times for parenting. A parenting coordinator can help the parties resolve issues surrounding the implementation of the parenting plan. A change in employment may require a change in parenting time schedule. A parenting coordinator can help the parties come to an agreement about the implementation of a modified parenting plan. The parenting coordinator can help with difficult decisions. For decisions about medical, school, extracurricular, or religious issues, a parenting coordinator can explain to the parties what was or was not contemplated in the parenting plan and help mediate the issue with the parties. Examples of common issues that arise include, so how does someone get a parenting coordinator? They can be, a court, they can be court appointed or the parents can voluntarily choose to utilize a parenting coordinator. The court may order a parenting coordinator if the parents failed to adequately cooperate and communicate with regard to issues involving the child or if the parents have been unable to implement a parenting plan or parenting schedule. The court will determine what percentage of cost is covered by each parent for the coordinator's services. Thanks for watching. To learn more about parenting coordinators, check out our article linked below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments and subscribe to for more legal content daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed the video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 630-324-6666. We have many locations for your convenience and we serve all of Illinois. So thanks again for watching.